Hello, it's Paul Paris here from Fremont Elizabeth City High School. Just showing you a, a vodcast um, of how to use games on Moodle. So basically you go to the LearnNet page, like I've done here, and on the side here you'll see Moodle. Now, ideally, you're logged into Learn and it should take you straight to Moodle, but sometimes it doesn't. It may prompt you for another login. If it does prompt you for another login, it'll be the same login as your learning login. But as you saw with mine, it went straight through. Once you get to the FX Moodle site, um, if you go to My Home, it should show you all the programs you are registered in. If you don't see any programs there, it means you're not a member. So just let me know and I'll put you on a member into a program. What we're looking at is the staff training one. So you should see that under uh, when you click on uh, My Home there. Staff training should pop up. If it hasn't, I've got enrolling. Once you start off training, um, I've got some samples there of how Moodle um, is really easy to set up for games. Um, now, basically, to show you overall what needs to be done, you need to set up a glossary. And I'll show you a little while how that's done. If you set up a glossary, right, uh, kids can contribute to the glossary. Now, I've set up some glossary here based on the Australian curriculum. And there you go, some words from the Australian curriculum that I've got there. Um, for instance, if I want to add another entry, that's fine. I'll just add an entry there. And I could type in um, the word maths. Right, and I could put a definition. So, um, this is one of the I don't know, Australian curriculum um, learning areas. And I'll be my definition. You might think of another definition. Um, once you type that, you've got all the facilities here for WordPress. You can bold things, change your color, you can make it attractive as you want but basically, and you can add pictures too if you wanted to but basically you save it and if you look carefully uh, at the gloss, glossary now it's added there but if I look at the overall glossary I've added some words before if I click on all I'll see all the words I've added the good part about the glossary once you set it up and I'll show you how to do that the kids can enter the words themselves they can go do some research on particular words you've asked them to I can put their own definition. Moodle offers a little tree here. This tree shows you how to get back to things. Now we'll look at staff training. And there it is, staff training. If you go all the way back to that tree there, staff training, it takes us back to the front page. And there's my glossary. Now, what happens with the glossary? You add games. Now I could add this game here. I've added a hangman game, a crossword game. Uh, a word finder game, etc., etc. Okay, so this is how the game looks like, and I'll, again, I'll show you how to put that on there once we've had a look. So here's a hangman game. The hangman game is going to look at the glossary I built and generate a hangman um, game for us. There is a just a little restart. I've already played that game before, and there's hangman. You got six tries, and it says here there, Kara outlined uh, online dictionary and glossary for. Of standard words, so that uh, oh, I think it's called Scots S. Got an S, there it goes. C O T. So it's I've, I've been successful, and there it is. So I've played that game. I could run that game again if I go with the staff training. Let's do the hangman again. This time I'm making I'll make a few errors. Start again. Um. And uh, so see, this is one of the Australian learning areas. Okay, that's the one I just put in. I think it was maths. But let's put in science. Science. Yes, well, there's maths. There's S's in there, right? I'll put C. No C. You've got the little head going there. Etc. 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 And here I go. And I'm going to disappear. I've lost. Okay, so game over. So there's the hangman game. Again, the definition comes from the glossary you've added, and the word seeking is from the glossary as well. Um, and you can look at some other games. Here we go. This is the crossword puzzle. Again, the crossword puzzle looks at the glossary. If I click on the crossword puzzle, it generates a, a random cross, um, crossword. 
and there's the game. Now, these are definitions I've added, right? Um, now, let's look at the first one. A digital library source owned by Cara. Well, that goes one across, got one across, and I'll type in um, Scoodle. And there's Scoodle there. Uh, two down, it says the Acara Online Dictionary and Glossary of Standard Terms. There you go, the same word we used before. I'll click on that down, and Scots. This one, T. Okay. And so on and so forth. So, how do we beat these games? Um, very easy. Um, when you get to this situation here, you gotta, you got to you got your middle page. You, I've made you a manager of middle, which means you get this little device here called Turn On Edit, Turn Editing On. So you click that on, you get a lot, a lot of little editing icons. Now, to add a glossary, you say I want to add an activity or resource. There you go, click on that, and I've got a new one. So click on that um, option down the bottom, Add. I'm just waiting for it. There it is, and I'm looking for glossary. There it is. And click on add, and you give it a name. Um, I shall call this one uh, staff testing glossary. Okay, etc., uh, etc. Et yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Save. Now, if you find, if you look carefully at your middle site now, when I return to the course, Require something. Um, description. This is a testing glossary for fix staff training. Okay. Save. There we go. Right. Now there it is down the bottom. As before, if I want to get rid of the editing, that's fine. Um, I can now add to that glossary. There's nothing in there. It's a brand new glossary. So add in there um, ICT. Um, uh, description, information, and communication technology. You can edit these if you make a mistake. Communication is fine. Go to the bottom. Again, I can add a picture of And that's added to my glossary. I can add another entry. And this I'll put down the um, keyboard. Right, there we go. Uh, and input device used by computers. There we go. There's a nice little definition for that. A save. So now I've created a brand new glossary. Okay. Now if I go back to my tree, back to staff training, that's where we start from, um, I've got some words. And if I look at my glossary again, um, there's my words. You can see all the words I've added. ICT keyboard is all I've got. Staff training takes me back. Now I want to add, say, the hangman game. Okay, so I need to go to turn up editing on. So because I'm a manager, I can do that. The students can't. And I need to go to add activity. Now down the bottom, there's all these games, and I'm going to add the hangman game. Add. There we go. Give it a name, and I should call this the hangman staff testing. Staff testing, just leave it that, that's fine. And it says, well, what do you want to use? I've got a glossary that I built before, staff testing. I'm oh, sorry, the glossary for staff practice. And the staff test, that's the one I want. This one I just built, I think. There you go. So it finds that glossary and you save it. And that's how you do Hangman. Hangman now is done. If I look at it now, it's going to build the Hangman game around that glossary there. Attempt the games, only two words, so what's going to happen? Um, an input device, so it's keyboard, keyboard, and now we've got our game happening. Right. Oh, what am I missing? I'm missing that Okay, done. Game's done, completed, and the game. Okay. I can do the same for other things. I can actually um, add another game. I could add. Um, let's just add one more game. What game do we have there? Okay, this one is the. Um, 
that's what they're doing. It's like a word finder. See the word finder came out on there. Same thing, it says there's the word finder testing. Right, uh, and glossary source, I wanted to add it to the staff testing one. There you go. And uh, that should do it. Save it, and I should be ready to use it. Um, but I've only got two words, and so not going to be much of a game, really. Um, and uh, <laughs> there it is. Um, well, it's not a very good one. Just it's only like two words. I don't have much to show. An improvised keyboard. So it's found it. But if you can imagine lots of words there in the word finder, it's going to find it. Okay. And that's how you put games onto Moodle. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoy it.